Hi, thanks for joining me on this update of the multi-board planner. Jonathan just announced a new type of tile and that is known as the border tiles. So because of that, the planner has gotten an update and this video is going to take you on a quick tour of that update to show you some things that have stayed the same and some things that have changed so that we know how to use these border tiles. Let's get started. First step is to navigate to the multi-board planner. You can use the link in the description to locate that um, URL. Once you get there, you'll notice that there is an explanation uh, for border tiles versus the non-border tiles. Those non-border tiles right here, those are the original tiles that we were um, using in our previous multi-board planner. And basically what has happened is the planner now incorporates the two varieties. So click continue. We still have the standard wall size here. This is where you're going to take the ruler and measure out your space and then enter the width and the height. If you're not using millimeters, you can switch it to inches just uh, using this drop down menu here. Next, we're gonna do our tile size. What this means is are you using eight by eight, which is pretty much the standard. That's what we use, but if you're using a different um, size tile, you would change it here. The border type is brand new. You'll notice that it defaults to border now. That is using the new bordered tiles. If you're using just the original and you're not gonna put a border in, you'll wanna select not bordered. I'm gonna keep it at bordered so we can see the new results that have been updated in the multi-board planner. Next, we have the mounting option. This has pretty much remained the same, but we do have a new option included. That's because of these border tiles. If you look at the note at the top of the page, it says you, if you wanna keep things super simple and flat on the surface, that means the tiles are not gonna have any space between the surface you're attaching them to and the tile itself. You just want it to be flat on the wall, for, inst for example. You can change uh, this to a simple flush. So it's just gonna be right on the wall. So that would be the last last option, which is right here, simple flush. And then you would calculate and see what the uh, results are there. We are gonna keep it at offset snaps just for this first um, example. And then we'll come back and we'll try the simple flush so you can see the difference and make your choice of what you wanna do. Let's go ahead and hit calculate. So we have our core tiles here in the center. These are the original layout. And then we have our border tiles here around the edges. They still are giving us the quick link to each of the file types that come up in our uh, list. You can also download the list still. I do want to click on one of these um, links just to show you the next step. When you click on a border tile link, it's going to take you to a tile generator opens to a simple tile generator. You're going to notice that there are border tiles right here. I need to select this one for that corner tile. I also need to change to my eight by eight because if we look back here, it is an eight by eight tile. So I'm gonna go back to my generator, make sure the X and the Y are to eights. I'll zoom this out a little bit. And then you would click the export button. And this is going to give you the corner piece that will just make the edge nice and straight. You'll notice that what you're losing when you choose the border option is there is not going to be um, a way to continue with a peg hole. So this is really, um, in my mind, I would be thinking, okay, this is to finish out my section of uh, multi-board on a wall to give it that final edge.
Let's go back to our list of tile types. You'll notice that the core tiles are right here. If we go find that in the list, we're going to click that link and it takes us to the download page in uh, Thangs and you're going to go ahead and hit download here for that 8x8 eight eight core tile. All right, let's change from offset snaps to this simple flush. This is if you want to not have the space behind. So let's do the calculate and see what it comes up with. You'll notice for this option, we are doing what looks like a core border tile. So you're going to not have those peg holes between each of these lines here. So let's take a look at this link and see how that would be set up. Go to the tile generator. And this is the piece that you want right here. And of course, we want eight by eight. So let's enlarge it to those dimensions. And there you go. This is what I'm talking about, that you're losing the pegboard option right here. And if you want more information on how this can work flush against the wall, um, we will be having some videos coming up where we're printing off uh, all the files that we need to do those videos, but we did want to get uh, this multi-board planner update to you. Um, also, you can uh, take a look at Multiboard's YouTube channel for updated information. Make sure you're subscribed to their channel as well. Jonathan uh, has promised that he's going to be putting out a lot of content um, on all these updates. Well, that is the updated multi-board planner. It's just a quick tour. If you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Just put them in the comment section below. Uh, we'll do our best to help you out. And as always, happy printing.